इतिहास रचिला इसरो चंद्रजान थ्री सफल उत्क्षेपण हो शुक्रवार अपराह दुईटा पैंतीस मिनिट्रे आंध्रर श्रीहरिकोटा सतीश सावन रु उत्क्षेपण एसहित महाकाश विज्ञान में नुआ अध्याय जोड़ी भारत अगस्त तेईस और चौबीस तारीख भितर यह चंद्र में अवतरण प्रक्रिया आरंभ कर रोवर साउथ पोल को जीवन तार काम आरंभ कर चंद्रजान थ्री बयालीस दिन में तीन दशमिक आठ शून लक्ष कोमीटर जात्रा कर चंद्र में पहुंच आसमान को चीरते हुए अपनी भयानक दहाड़ से चारों ओर कंपन उत्पन्न कर रहा है जिसे हम यहाँ महसूस कर सकते बिफोर लॉन्च आवर प्राइमरी कंसर्न वॉज टू रीच इट इन द राइट ऑर्बिट एनी वे दैट कंसर्न इज नाउ ओवर ओके सो फर्दर कंसर्न स्टार्ट सो फर्दर कंसर्न सर देन वी हैव टू स्लोली रेस इट टू the earth moon bound orbit that will happen in next uh, four four burns which will which are scheduled then as you know it has to capture the moon if it doesn't capture moon mission is not there so the, our calculation i hope it will all be all right and it will be captured on moon then it will be in elliptical orbit then it has to be a 100 km circular orbit that's another three four maneuvers then on the designated designated day it has to reduce from 100 km to 30 km and then land on the moon precisely soft landing so all these regimes are equally critical i don't think the landing alone is not critical every step is critical so we wait for the next 42 days of work please watch us we will update you on every step what we are going to do whether it is successful or we have a problem you will come to know thank you ये तो बढ़िया क्वेश्चन है हमारे चार वर्ष का काम हम चार मिनट में बताना है तो बढ़िया कष्ट होगा तो मैं ये सिर्फ ये कहूंगा कि देर वॉज ए फेलर फॉर अस so what do you decided find out what went wrong first step that took almost one year second step what you can do corrections are required to make it uh, better then we looked at what more can go wrong our kuch bhi uh, you know problems hai hidden hidden rehta hai usme to wo sab we brought out through reviews testing etc then the third year was all testing we went down so many tests which was not done last time and final year was final assembly and preparation so it was a period of very great extent of work reviews mental agonies specimens new equipments were realized entire design was redone software read and reverified we brought so many people to review our designs once again and we could did hundreds of tests last two years to prove that it is good today to go for launch so it has been a big journey for the team i have to congratulate the team sitting here not me uh, there are there is a big team thousands of people i think we have to maybe after this we will introduce them yeah, but i i think uh, uh, somarath is being very modest it is not a failure i mean it would not be fair to say it was a failure because if you go even statistically most of the countries have not been able to successfully land in the first attempt so going by that comparative analysis we are statistically better off than all the other countries our record of uh, landing in the first attempt or in the second attempt many others have landed successfully or absolutely only in the third or the fourth attempt. having said that it was also not a failure because only last 12 kilometers you had some shortcomings which did not live up to your expectation actually your expectation level was very high you wanted to accomplish through that mission many many things which possibly you could have you know kept off for the next mission which did not happen so it did not the agenda and we signed by us could not get accomplished in its totality so that was kind of a disappointment but our lander is there machine is there orbiter is still orbiter is still there so it's uh, it's uh, just like that uh, you your you take a you board a vehicle or a transport bus it takes you to the destination it uh, reaches there but there is a jhatka in the brake as you sometimes find in the landing of the aircraft so it's not a failure but it fell short of the of our uh, envisaged agenda which now they have 
not only supplement, and, and that is with every case. Even if it was successful from our point of view, we would have still learned from it. Because every, even the successful mission uh, gives you a, a hint about certain pitfalls, which you realize, okay, this went off well, but it should have not been like that. I could have done it this way. So every, every successive mission is an improvement on the earlier mission. And here, in, you also had certain buffer components brought in, as uh, Somnath Ji is saying. I will also request you to look at the tweets of our Honorable Prime Minister Modi ji. He has given tweets on Chandrayaan 1, what it brought out, what was accomplishment of Chandrayaan 1. He also brought out tweet on Chandrayaan 2, what was the scientific outcome, the accomplishment of Chandrayaan 2, and also hoped that Chandrayaan 3 will go well. Kindly look at his uh, last uh, two days of tweets. He has brought out with very well. Thank you. No, that is an essential part of any yeah. any mission. It's very important. See, experiments are chosen based on, on scientific the objectives. Mission, yeah. We have a scientific team headed by one of our former chairman who looks at it. And in the beginning of Chandrayaan program, there was a scientific goal set. What you want to find out, what is unique that you can find out, what others have not done. And that is how we found out water on the moon on Chandrayaan 1. Because, in, a, yeah. in, a, in a way, not only is this mission comparatively better than many other missions by the other countries, also, it is totally indigenous. And as we mentioned, Chandrayaan 1, though they may have landed before us, but the discovery of water on the surface of the moon was brought by Chandrayaan 1. Now, this is going to go one step further, more so because it's landing on the south polar area, Correct. where you have different kinds of craters and all. So, it's just moving from one level to the other level. Same you? Yeah. Yes. Sir. Sir, we all know how the Prime Minister was interested in this uh, space with us. Did the Prime Minister speak to you guys? Oh, no, he, he, he's, he's abroad, he's treated, and uh, that will work out. But of course, uh, I have no hesitation to say that all this uh, uh, has been possible also because there's a huge lot of individual indulgence by Prime Minister Modi. This whole ecosystem has developed because in the last four, five years, uh, beginning from, you know, opening the space sector to the private players, then putting in place an interface called InSpace uh, to deal with the private sector, to coordinate with the private sector, then putting up a PSU called New Space uh, India Limited. So all this is an ecosystem which has supplemented the resources, both human resources as well as financial resources. Now the 140-odd startups, private startups who are working over here in collaboration with ISRO are also actually contributing, both human resource-wise, because there's a huge lot of young talent happening there. So it's, it's an ecosystem which has made this task easier. And that's also because the Prime Minister Modi has always been forthcoming as far as our uh, ex experiments and missions are concerned. One second. Uh, you have to use the mic, otherwise we can't hear. But I'm a bit confused about this. Why did you not have a full-fit job because it's time? It's propulsion module, it's spacecraft, and I'm a bit confused about it. And the second question is, uh, what is the progress you have made on human space flight program? Okay, we will, yeah. Yeah, we will limit to the Chandrayaan 3 today. The orbiter. Okay, the orbiter I will answer. Orbiter is still there. Orbiter is orbiter. That is what we were saying in response to the earlier, yeah. uh, what you said. See, the orbiter had scientific experiments last time. This time, it doesn't have scientific experiment, but we added one towards the last time. So, it doesn't, it doesn't have a function of being an, in orbit and do any active function. That's why we don't call it orbiter. And it doesn't have a relay function as we have envisaged last time for communication. So, our Chandrayaan 2 orbiter is going to do that function. So, in view of this, there is no need of really an orbiter. We need only a propulsion module to reach up to the moon. Hence, there is a need of... So, I believe your confusion on that topic is over. The focus this time is on in-situ <coughs> experiments on the surface of home. 
and therefore the agenda is set like agenda that. Agenda is yes, different. <laughs> You have to use mic. Okay, let us all clap. You see, if you, if, you, if, you recall, if you recall my words, I said confidence they have inherited as legacy. <laughs> if you see the pictures of Sarabhai carrying launcher vehicle on the carriage of a bicycle with uh, no resource available and people like you and me singing nursery rhymes sitting home, Chanda Mama Durke, and uh, USA preparing to land on the surface of the moon, this is early 60s, they are already preparing, Apollo series have started. So the huge lot of confidence is there, but what is appreciable is that it is not a misplaced confidence. The confidence coming out of substance and the acumen that is inherent to our Indian talent. Can I ask uh, our uh, in-space in chairman, Dr. Pawan Goy Kumar Goy, to answer? You can, you can from there. Sir. Can you answer? No, no, he's saying the transfer technology, Goenka, Pavan, Mr. Pavan, about saying the startups in the transfer technology, how would you accommodate them? That's what he was asking. Yeah. See, uh, ISRO has a treasure of technologies. And as they started to come up, uh, it makes a lot of sense for them to not, not redevelop the technologies. And ISRO can transfer technologies to startups. विश्व मुख्यंक सांबादिक सम्मेलनी रो सीधा प्रसारण आपण माने देखि पारुथले बंग सांबादिक को विभिन्न प्रश्न रो उत्तर जहा रखुथले ए सोमनाथ बंग उपस्थित थिबा अन्य अधिकारी माने बड कथा उछि जे वर्तमान चैलेंज एबे बे रहिछि जते बेले सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग हबो अगस्त मास रे सेथि पाई परिश्रम आहुरी बाकी रहिछि चैलेंज एबे बे बाकी रहिछि